worse tenants, renters who trash homes and simply walk out, leaving unsuspecting landlords with massive repair bills. It's happening more and more across Adelaide, but landlords are now fighting back, pushing for unruly tenants to be named and shamed. Shattered glass, stained carpets and smashed cupboards, the handiwork of South Australia's worst tenants. Unfortunately, this is what tenants do out in the real world and we as landlords are left to pick up the pieces. Across Adelaide, renters with no regard are trashing homes and simply walking out. Here, a chicken is rotting in an oven. Property owners are fed up. Check the room here, as you can see, the whole room is covered with diner bolts. This is where the tenants obviously had their own items removed and not completely removed their items. Outside this Croydon Park rental, piles of rubbish are left long after the tenants moved out. They'll now be removed at the expense of the elderly landlord. The general clean-up here, you're going to be looking between three and five thousand dollars, I would say, at this stage. Far more than the meagre rental bonds, some tenants are happy to give up. Many moving into cheap public housing. Our taxes are now paying to put a roof over their head. It's just not good enough. Insurance companies say claims from landlords are getting higher, with some in the tens of thousands of dollars. Last year, for example, um, the, the, the amount we paid out was about 6% higher on average than the previous year. So, so the cost of the damage is, is growing. Drugs are playing a part, some tenants known to remodel the inside of rooms, turning them into cannabis crops or meth labs. And it's not uncommon for children to be living there. The drug situation has worsened in the last five years compared to what it used to be. We never used to have as much damage done from drugs as what we do now. And it's not just the growing of the drugs or the cooking of the drugs, it's the damage that they're doing whilst they're on the